uh, when you first took the stage as a starter, it was against New York XL, one of the best teams in the league, and you guys managed to take it in game five. How did that feel for you? What was going through your head? Uh, I think no one on our team expected to like win New York. I think everyone expected to like win maybe one map, simply because like with me we did not practice, and like I can bring same shot calling as it was before, so it was like really hard. And for me especially, I would say uh, I before I played like only tracer, and now I need to like you know play a lot of different heroes, and this is like will be better over time. So. Yeah. Sure. Did uh, somebody else kind of step up to take on that shot caller role in your first games? Mm, I think everyone like understood that we need like everyone needs to contribute a lot more. So everyone was like shot calling more. I don't think there was like a person who was doing it, but I think Gams to note, Kalex, like everyone was talking much and like I tried to talk as much as I can as well, so yeah. Fair enough. Uh, how did that first victory affect your confidence going into this week? Uh, I don't know. I, I felt like uh, after we won New York, this might, this week will be like still hard for us because like London and so like you can underestimate them, you know. And I think we expected to win London, but I, I don't think like we expected to win them like that close to be honest. But I think we just like, you know, every team got a bad day. And this is important when you have a bad day, like, if you win or lose at this day. So, yeah. Today, once again, you took London, another one of the top teams, to a game five, and you did it in a reverse sweep. I mean, you've got to feel great about that. What was going through your head uh, after game two, and, and how did you guys turn it around for that sweep? Mm, I think we did not expect them to play as they did in first two maps. So like we were preparing for uh, something different, you know, and then like uh, on half time we like understood what was the problem and basically yeah. So since here we started like adapting to them, like during the games and yeah, it went better. Excellent. So as of now, I mean, you as a player have got to have one of the best records in the entire league. I mean, you guys haven't lost a game since you started uh, 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 playing on the starting roster. So how does that feel? I don't know. I feel like uh, you know we, we could we could lose to like any team. We could win any team. I know it's like I'm really happy that we are winning, but you know at some point we lose, right? Like we just can't like no one can win like every single game. So I think the game we lose it will like matter much how team will like take it because if you like win a, win a lot and then you lose, it's like you know it's hard to take for some people. So I think if we can go through this, I think we'll be like really strong at the end. Excellent. So as far as first weeks go, you seem to have it uh, pretty stacked against you. You're going against all three Korean rosters in your first two weeks as a, as a starter. I mean, what's it like being thrown in at the deep end like that? And, and how do you uh, uh, elevate yourself to meet that challenge? I think in general, like right now, as I said, I need to play like way more heroes and like it's Especially against teams like that, it's not really easy, you know, like, for example, I, I never played Widow and I never played Genji, I was literally playing like Tracer all the time and I think if I would play Tracer now, like, I would be comfortable, but, like, you know, now I need to play Flex DPS and I think, I think I did decent, especially against teams we played so far. But like, I think I can be like way, way better after like time, you know? In a more general sense, how was the transition into being a starter for you? Did the team rally around you or do anything in particular to help you make that transition? Mm. I think after I started playing with the team, like a lot, coaches and like uh, players as well, like starting helping me because everyone understands that it's not easy, you know, like after not practicing for a long time, just to come back and like feel the role which I'm not supposed to play, you know. Yeah, I think everyone, like, no one is blaming me or something, even if I, like, play really bad, everyone tries to help me as much as they can. So it's really helpful. Thank you to Boston, I guess. For sure. So uh, what's it been like changing your kind of practice routine to try to pick up these other characters you're not entirely comfortable on? I mean, do you just focus on one character character at a time? Do you focus on playing certain maps a certain way? What What is that like for you? Uh, I think in general right now, 
like as a flex DPS, you don't necessarily play like one hero most of the time. Like you basically play like, for example, one map you play Genji, next map you play Vido, next map you play like Soldier, you know. So like this time when you practice, it's like splits between every character. So you just like, you know, if you would, for example, would practice like Genji four games in a row, it would be like you you can you can be better very fast, right? But like when it splits across like five or six heroes, it's like it's like slowly goes like up, but it's like you know. Just need, needs time. I think like after maybe one month, it will be like way better than it now. And uh, what are some of your personal goals going forward with the Boston Uprising? I mean, right now, I guess we just want to secure playoffs. Make sure we're like on a high position when we go to playoffs. But I think we could potentially get top three. I, I can feel it because if you get like more consistent, I will get more practice, like we will just fix our issues with communication now. I think we can definitely be at least top three at the end of the season. What are some of your goals for like how to elevate yourself going forward? What are some things you maybe want to work on as far as these characters that you're not super comfortable with yet? Um, is there anything that you maybe impressed yourself with and how you played? Uh, I think the only hero, in my opinion, I played decent, it's like Sombra. But Sombra, it's like pretty much kind of similar like Tracer, you know, so yeah, that's why I'm like doing pretty good on Sombra, you know, but in general, like I think as every hero I play it, I have moments, but it's like, you know, not consistent enough. So that's the biggest problem right now. And also I think I need to like, for me, it's like, hard to talk to Koreans because of like, they don't understand my accent because it's like really bad, you know, so like, if, like, for example, English speaker will talk to them, they will understand. Right. But, uh, and I, if I will talk to English speaker, they will understand. But for us, like, together, it's kind of hard, you know, sometimes. But I think, like, after some time we play together, right. people will get used to voice, you know, and understanding, and it will be, like, even better, so. <laughs> right on. Um, so last question. Since stepping into your starting role, what, have, what has the fan response been like? Did they embrace you right away, or was there... Uh, uh, some disquire like concern about you joining the team. What was that like engaging with the fans for the first time? I think before the match with New York, everyone was like, you know, question mark, what's gonna happen? And like some people believe that I can be like playing this team and like we can win. Some like I would say probably mostly people, most of the people like did not believe. But you know, after we won New York, like I received like a lot of support, and you know, and after four days so. And yeah, like, thanks to all people who is supporting me because it's like, in this moment, it's like really helps. Okay. For sure. Uh, real quick follow up on that. Since you've had all these victories uh, in your first couple of days playing with the team uh, as a starter, have people become more supportive for you? Uh, yeah, I think definitely after like every, every game we play on stage and we win, like, People like uh, start to understand it, it's like Boston is like, you know, like we still can be a good team and we still can win games. So, yeah, I think every game I play, like, uh, support is like incredible. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out our channel for more action packed content. Also, like and share this video and click the subscribe button to join our notification squad. Thanks for watching.